PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Asus F1A 75M Pro motherboard. This one here is based on the new AMD chipset, the A75 chipset, supports the new APUs, and it has tons of deluxe features, which we're going to look at more in detail now in a moment. But really, what comes in the box is quite basic. It's just the IO Shield plate, some SATA 3.0 cables, and um, the CD and the manual. That's just about it. Okay, so it's more of a mainstream or entry level type of board. However, it packs tons of features. When you look at the board, the first thing that you're going to notice are the two um, PCI Express slots. Obviously, it supports Crossfire support, so dual graphics is really nice for a small size board such as this one. You can see here the heat sinks, and also I have a CPU, the new APU actually from AMD, the A8 3850 is already installed in there, ready to go. This one here packs lots of neat features such as this dual intelligent processing feature, which I'll talk about in a moment. The um, CPUs that it supports are quad-core CPUs, like I mentioned, the new A-series ones. This chipset supports the USB 3.0 and the new SATA 3.0 technologies, as opposed to the other chipset that came out recently also, the A55. This one has the A75 chipset. And uh, it supports up to 64 gigs of uh, memory. And of course, it uses the built-in GPU okay, of the chip but you can have another card installed for Crossfire support if you want and um, supports RAID and also you can see here the um, audio 8 channel USBs, tons of USB support as you can see right there including four USB 3.0 jacks at the back and uh, I love the software great software from Asus again tweaking utilities stuff like that to um, make things easier basically when it comes to um, overclocking for example and keeping things cool and quiet so very nice uh, Asus to provide all of that and we're gonna look at that also more in detail now looking at the board again there are the four slots for your dual channel memory here are two little switches the EPU and TPU this is gonna automatically deliver the amount of power and stabilize the machine when you're overclocking okay so you wanna have those enabled and just below that you have the memory OK button in case you need to tweak your memory and automatically have it configured for you. You can press that button. Look at the wavy look there of that heat sink by the voltage regulators. Very nice. Lots of um, fan connectors as well for them. And you can see here underneath the A75 chipset, you've got your headers for your USB uh, connectors, for example, right along the bottom here where they usually appear anyway. So that's uh, where they go nice little compact uh, micro ATX uh, board okay as you can see there it packed quite a bit in there to try to uh, give you as much features for USB 3.0's you got your HDMI optical your DVI and VGA of course your gigabit LAN two more USB 2.0's and your 8 channel audio right there now in the BIOS this uses your mouse if you have a mouse you can use it. I didn't quite uh, find it that good, okay, the bias with the mouse. I usually like using the uh, keyboard to quickly navigate, so keyboard works great. Lots of great features in there for uh, tweaking your system. Here is my test system. Okay, these are the basics that I have installed here for this test. And in Windows 7 here, you can see I have CPU-Z open and running. You can see the chip that I have installed on this board 32 nanometer architecture brand spanking new from AMD and you can click again on the link here I'll provide it so that way you can watch the review and the benchmarks on this chip which runs at default 2.9 gigahertz it's a locked processor but you can overclock it further on this Asus board here's the uh, Asus board that you can see the specs A75 chipset and then of course the memory I'm running it at uh, 999 timings 800 uh, megahertz that's 1600 effectively overclocking can be done obviously in the bias or you can use the asus ai tweaker utility to do this for you and auto tune things i like to go in and set my uh you know settings manually but i've tried the software which works very very well 43 degrees celsius at full load right now running 100 percent I lowered the uh, multiplier from 29 to 27 and then I increased the bus speed all the way up to 127 or 
further to 130 to get 3.5 gigahertz. You can save all the settings that you've manually set here or use the auto tuning feature in there. It's up to you, but Asus gives you all those choices, of course, so you can, um, you know, increase and try different settings and see what works best for you. Like I said, I got the 3.5 gigahertz stable running up full load there. And um, I ran benchmarks. Click on the link here that I'm providing you so you can watch the next video on the benchmarks with this board and this chip. Okay. So, other than that, I really didn't have any uh, big issues. I love this board. I really give it about a 9 out of 10 overall for all the features, support, and everything that it has to offer, except for the mouse not working very well in the bias. I use the uh, keyboard anyways because uh, I can navigate with the keyboard fine in, the, in that bias. So, other than that, Great little board, and um, I'd like to thank AMD for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.